So check this out, my fellow YouTubers around the world. Today, we've got a really killer system. In fact, it's the first full-blown AMD system that I could happily call my own gaming system that we've seen in a long time. And yes, this system is actually pretty pricey. Um, including Windows, it's pushing $3,000. That's right, an AMD build pushing $3,000. Crazy, right? Because we all think, you know, AMD, they're gonna be the budget system. But nope, with the new CPU that's, you know, running about $500, video cards running about $500, all the other components, it all adds up. And one thing I do think that's kind of funny is that I see guys all the time go out and they buy these expensive systems, but yet, they whine about spending $99 on a copy of Windows. And I'm gonna let you guys know, there's all kinds of ways out there even to get your Windows for totally pretty much free. You go, just download the software from Microsoft, make yourself a disk. There's all kinds of places out there that sell Windows keys. Some people might complain and say, oh, you know, it only works for one build, but really aren't you just getting it for that particular build? So I mean, if you're building a system and you gotta pay $25 for your OS, is it really a big deal? I don't think it really is. We shouldn't be so cheap. We should just pay the freaking fee and move on about our day. But with that said though, let's jump in and let's see this amazing, crazy system. So starting off from the outside, we're using the Silverstone Primera PM01 case. Now this case is really nice. It's a mid-tower case, has plenty of room inside, has a very nice mesh front so you can see all the lighting inside the case. It also has a really nice glass window as well so you can see the board and everything inside the system. Now the motherboard is the ASRock X570 Tai Chi motherboard. Really great board. The CPU is the Ryzen 9 3900X and it looks like the CPU's actually gone up in price and currently it's going for $729. That's just crazy. Now cooling off the CPU in this system is the Corsair H115i. This is a liquid CPU all-in-one cooler system. It works very well and it was pretty easy to install as well. The only problem that we had was it was a little bit tight getting the rad to mount on the very top of the case, but we were able to finally get everything in there and you can see all the parts fit really nicely. Now we're using 16 gigabytes of the Gale Evo X2 memory. This is 3200 megahertz memory. Nice price in this memory, 16 gigabytes, it's working perfect. Now another thing that we did in the system is we really wanted to test the PCIe 4.0. And to do that, you actually need to have an M2 drive. So we use the Patriot Viper VP4100. Now this is their Gen 4 M2, it's a one terabyte SSD. And man, you guys will see that the speeds on this thing are incredible. And as far as the hard drive goes that we're storing most of our games on, we're using the Seagate Barracuda. This is a one terabyte hard drive, really good price. Now we're also using a very fast SSD for our boot drive. This is the Pyro SE 240 gigabyte drive. This particular drive is completely overpriced and is one of the reasons why this system is so much money. But I'm not gonna lie about the pricing in the video, but you could definitely, most certainly, get a different hard drive for a much lower price. Now for the video card, we use the Red Devil RX 5700 XT. You guys know this video card. We've done a couple of videos on it. This is a very fast, highly overclocked card that is just amazing and one of the best cards in the AMD lineup. Now as far as the power supply goes, we wanted something that we could actually use to upgrade. So if we wanted to do like an SLI or a Crossfire system, we could still do that. So we went with an 850 watt power supply from Silverstone. This is the ST85F-PT. You guys can see though that this entire build came out really killer looking. All of the cable management is perfect. All of the cables are hidden. None of the airflow is being restricted out of this case whatsoever. This build just came out really nice. And not only does it run awesome, come on, you have to admit, this thing sure looks pretty. All right, so real quick before we jump into the benchmarks, I just wanna address a couple of things. First of all, the Pyro SE SSD that we're using is way overpriced. 
$560 is outrageous. If I would have noticed that price before the system build and everything, I would have actually pulled it and found a cheaper drive. So right off the bat, you guys know you can save an easy $400 just by changing out that particular you know, SSD. The rest of the parts and everything are fine and well from the price standards, but that is a little overpriced. Now we're using the very latest Windows updates and the very latest drivers as the time of this build. So with that said, let's rock out to the benchmark song and let's check out how this bad boy performs.
Now, as far as the temps go, the Red Devil 5700 XT is running at 76 Celsius and the CPU is running at 53 Celsius. All right, so there you guys have it, the Red Ryzen system. And I think it's pretty badass, all in all. I know this system is a little bit costly, you know, especially for an AMD build, which are usually like, you know, much more budget oriented. But let's just face it, AMD is moving more and more into the top end of things as time goes by. Their CPUs are getting more expensive, their video cards are getting more expensive, but they're also getting much more competitive. So instead of having AMD, you know, be the total underdog, AMD is now starting to actually be very competitive. They're being very competitive in the CPU market, very competitive in the GPU market, and I think that the trend is going to continue, you know, continue to keep going this way. Like all of our builds, this is just a build that we did in-house. I'm not trying to go for, hey, I'm trying to build the cheapest build in the world. We never really do that here. We really try to build really nice systems that are really cool, and you guys can take what we do and you can change anything around in the system to whatever you want. So any part in the system that you guys think is too expensive or you don't like that particular part, you can change all of that around and make it so the system fits you perfectly. But this system runs absolutely great. The system runs really quiet. It gets really good scores. You guys can see from the benchmarks. This is a very robust system. I like it a lot and I haven't really wanted to have an AMD system for my personal computer in a long time. And I have this new Samsung 8K monitor and the 8K monitor actually has FreeSync technology in the monitor. So that's pretty crazy. So I actually plan on using this system to power that monitor and to do some seriously 8K gaming. And we're gonna be doing a little changes. This particular system as it is will actually be disassembled this current Sunday and we're gonna be rebuilding the system with a brand new crazy motherboard called the X570 Aqua from the people at ASRock. Um, when you guys see the unboxing of this particular mother, you're gonna be going, because this is one really nice motherboard. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, once again, all the parts and everything that we use in this video will be listed down there below the fold, so make sure you guys check that out. Also, we'd love to see you here, so if you like our videos, hey, make sure you sub the channel and click that little bell for notifications so we can see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow for more tech. Peace out. We'll see you soon.